Today's uh, mass intention is praying for Kathy uh, Bershight. The lectionary uh, today serves up a uh, first reading from the prophet Daniel. The prophet puts into words uh, people's sorrow, uh, their need for God's mercy. The gospel then, of course, is a, a message from Jesus, the Sermon on the Plain in Luke, about mercy and forgiveness. So we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Of course, we open ourselves again to his Spirit present in this place. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem and Israel, near and far, and all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princesses, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we re rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to your sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoner's sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pastor, pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. It's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. 
a good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. There's uh, an old uh, rabbinic expression that goes something like, don't bother asking from God what you yourself are not willing to give and to do. That would seem to echo the message uh, from Jesus here in this Sermon on the Plain. Uh, It's the Lucan parallel to the Sermon on the Mount, although it's much shorter. Uh, There's a version of the Lord's Prayer, although that's shorter too, and and of the Beatitudes, uh, which is a little bit different. The message is clear, though, that uh, there's a kind of reciprocity about forgiveness and mercy. One uh, retreat director that I know, uh, he uh, often will ask people, are you living the kind of life that you would like people to remember you by? Are you, uh, are you merciful and are you a forgiving person, kind and uh, looking out for others, uh, all the kind of things you would like people to remember? Of course, it's not as important what people remember, it's what God remembers. Uh, God remembers all of it. Uh, we have this great season of Lent, Uh, It's really not just for 40 days. Uh, Hopefully some of it, uh, you know, the the metanoia, the the self-awareness that can come about will last our whole lifetime, uh, that we're called to be a people of mercy and forgiveness. It's easy to stand here. Forgiveness, of course, it's much harder to live it, uh, especially when we've been hurt by someone or something to actually be willing to forgive and forget uh, to, to, without bad feelings, without holding a grudge. Uh, it's intensely difficult, but it's the centerpiece of Jesus' prayer. We're going to say the Lord's Prayer in just a few minutes here, Matthew's version. It cuts a deal with God, basically saying, forgive us our trespasses, our sins, as we forgive others. It's a pretty radical concept uh, that I don't want any more or less forgiveness from God than I'm actually willing to practice. Wow, Uh, deal. Uh, We hear these uh, from the very mouth of Jesus. Uh, He leads us to salvation and new life. We want to follow. It's not always a cakewalk, but it's a good thing. It frees us uh, from, you know, the pitfalls of life. It not only releases perpetrators, but releases the victims in a way, too. We're called to reconciliation, to peace. It's not a a Pollyanna teaching at all, but it is about mercy and forgiveness. It's a Lenten theme. It's still a theme that, of course, is rich for us even now. And so... As a Lenten people, we are confident to place, once again, all of our prayers in God's hands. And so we lift up our family and friends, our neighbors, those closest to us, members of the parish here, most especially those who are struggling today in some way, facing sickness and even death. We pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for an end, even though an end doesn't look to be in sight. We pray for an end to this terrible war in Ukraine and justice for the Ukrainian people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Loving God, you do call us to be a people of forgiveness, to be a Lenten people. We ask for your grace every day, and we ask all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it'll become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Almighty God. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Of course, we have the very familiar and radical prayer of Jesus every day, and so we can say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's turn to each other, one another then, and offer some sign of God's peace. Mm -hmm. 
Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.